Good day, friends. Good evening, humans. And good afternoon, all the rest. Are we satisfied with our health? Are we the one who are responsible for our illnesses? Are we the ones who, seeing the things quite differently than any of our, let's say, old and previous civilizations? I would say so. I would really appreciate if we start observing our previous and old medicine men, shamans, healers. I'm not talking two or three hundred years ago, I'm talking in thousands of years ago, where these old medicine men were actually the most experienced elders in the tribe or in the community. Title for today goes like this, a medicine man who went off way of course in modern medicine. Modern, I call it contemporary one, which is really not a medicine. It is something that cannot be described without insulting all of these creatures who are involved in this. Very rarely you see a person who, let's say, finish all these schools, who spends enormous amounts of dollars or any other funds to become a surgeon or psychiatrist or any kind of, let's call it public help figure that they turn around their back and they say, this is not what I signed for. Do not harm, do not kill, do not poison all the other humans. Yet this is all the things they are doing. The present science is based on trying to configure a human cell or reconfigure a human cells and human way of distribution of the energy inside the physical body by modifying the existing existed DNA or distribution of uh, ill deeds they were never questioned people gets ill because they do ill deeds or others performing ill deeds on them so we have to find a way how the old shamans and medicine men were dealing with these let's call it healings even this is to me not a, a, a per se healing it's more like a, a self-awareness when these medicine men try to bring an awareness into the consciousness of the human who is ill so they can expand and they can do or perform a self-healing. So how psychiatrists can talk about all these crazy experiences where they cannot even say they have a 1% of the cases they were receiving. Why they don't do these things as the old shamans? They can only talk from their own experience. What they're doing, it's mostly so watching our lovely psychiatrists, how they're treating their patients. They lay them down, they let them patients open their soul, let's say, and just pour all the garbage out. Some of them, they have, let's say, better approach. Yet, what to do with this kind of uh, massive amount of illness that you feel in somebody else? How to advise him on anything? Did you have any of these illnesses? Did you have any of these experiences? 
doesn't matter children child was killed they've been involved in the war so how you can advise anybody if you not been part of the war how do you know what kind of traumas these beings carry and how you can actually pinpoint for them to recognize what they don't have to be afraid anymore so the present medicine turn everything really upside down and they narrow it into like let's see what this cell is ill from it doesn't matter kidneys liver oh you're drinking too much but nobody is suggesting why this drinking came in place they just trying to tell you or you have to stop drinking or take some other medications they are very narrow span of recovery most of these uh, synthetic medications are based on almost like no knowledge no consciousness they will just repair or extend status quo of the body so it doesn't feel pain much or let's say reducing uh, cancer cells the, the most ridiculous solution that I saw is chemotherapy or even oral chemotherapy or intravenous chemotherapy which is horrendous on the physical body and it's even more horrendous on the spirit because these energies are vibrating so low in the scale from let's say God is a, a one million they are vibrating on three okay and they can just repair a present state of confusion of the physical body that it thinks that it's gonna prevent cancer to be spread so that's why it's hurt that's why it's so uh, uncomfortable having a cancer yet when you realize when you start digging deeper why the cancer actually shows up is it outside influence doesn't matter food uh, water air or is it something that a patient itself creating or holding on on some kind of material means so the reflection of the illness will become a materialized like it will materialize in itself so when the cancer starts spreading through the a body what is what is happening there because body simply cannot defend itself anymore the chemotherapies and all this synthetic medications they are preventing the body to defend itself so these modern doctors modern scientists or pharma, pharma, pharmaceutical dudes they are doing actually nothing to save the patient why they are the most paid profession or one of the most paid professions in the world doctors pharmaceuticals because this is only thing they care the finances their own pocket they don't care about the well-being of the patient or the person they wanna so-called quotes help they don't do actually any help they're doing more and more harm for you to become more docile and more trusty in their misdeeds or total misguidance so you can just let it go as early as possible but in the meantime they will make a lot of profits of you not only financial profits they will make a lot of energetic profits because they will steal many many slices of your soul they will steal many kilograms of your source energy that you the one who can create but you can start creating this back again so my suggestion is first of all find enough strength to cut yourself off these medical thieves doctors who are stealing because they're not here for your benefit they're here simply to benefit their own profitability and their own to satisfy their own greed so when you get it 
you will not have to look around much until you find a very decent it's like healers or even your friend who has nothing to do with healing if he can give you a nice suggestion that you will start looking within what was the problem then you can thank to your friend and it will not cost you anything if you accept these friendly and kind suggestions but if you overwrite any of these outside let's say influences with a mandatory rule that you have to see the doctor when you feel not good then you're pretty much signing yourself a death sentence immediately they're just doing nothing else but making a death very slow and very profitable for their own hands profitable financially so why all these doctors are in a high level apartments in uh, big houses uh, huge cars uh, fabrication of the, the documents that they're creating in collusion with the pharmaceutical industries why many of these legal cases where the doctors and pharmaceuticals killed not one patient but like myriad like full hospitals were tested on a certain medications and this has been hush hushed it has been put under the, the carpet so judicial judicial uh, part of this country where it's happening they just don't respond because they are in a very close collusion with judges and lawyers and advocates so it's only you who can break this outside of this kind of very tight circle when they put you on the hamster wheel and you're running in the circle like always on the same spot and running like crazy especially if you're coming closer to your let's call it end of your life you becoming more and more aware how you cannot live without them they pat you on the back oh don't worry you have at least two years if you behave if you take medications every day if you come for the surgery next month conceptually to me absolutely ludicrous way of healing somebody by cutting him open by fracturing their energetic field their physical body their skin and putting implants replacements medications uh, chemotherapy I mean, chemotherapy is the, the the pinnacle of what is wrong in this society we're treating like atomic energy as our savior we're treating a chemotherapy as our savior and this is the most dangerous item on the planet like uranium and all this radioactive uh, isotopes and the crap that they are so smartly using in a small portions that we really deleting our soul by communicating with any of these creatures or any of these substances they are so dangerous so is this your goal what to die healthy or to die early or to die you know rich what is your goal would you like to achieve when you're going to see these medical doctors why don't look for yourself there is many many now examples Chinese medicine is leading in non-invasive even you can call them surgeries or removal of so when you start paying attention what these doctors are suggesting you to do and most of these suggestions are simply oral or invasive techniques and when you realize that you have a right to protect your physical body and start from micro treatment go to holistic treatment of your body which includes your soul which includes your spirit 
only then you can start seeing that you are the responsible agent in your recovery. Not some medications, not some doctors and their suggestions and their profits, but your own choice. Where and how you are going to heal? So, to re retract all for the beginning of this little chat is why this old medicine man, the shamans, were the most valuable in the society because they did not pretend they can save anybody they just shared their opinion of their own experiences and experience was transferred not through the medical books but transferred through the verbal communication between one shaman to another one when elder shaman goes to rest he finds enough time to bring his apprentice into a full extension of his experiences. Yet this new shaman has to have experiences on its own to see how his communication with the ill people makes a difference. So as I find that these shamans has to come alive again in every single society in every country in every little city will have these people rising up from very meek environments there will be no doctors there will be no politicians or leaders there will be just a very experienced elderly beings who know how to help with suggestion with a right direction but it will be left on the responsibility of the patient or ill person to change their attitudes. Only then we, as a humanity, can start growing. Until this moment, we are actually not growing, we are diminishing ourselves. Our soul becomes shrunk, our, our spiritual energy becomes completely depleted. Yet, is this what Prime Creator gave us here to waste our life in chasing for the profits, chasing for material goods, or to try to grow spiritually, try to really find enough strength to help ourselves? 